Well, it wasn't pretty, but in the end, the Coyotes come away with a 55-53 non-conference win over Montana State at the Dakota Dome. JLS and Greg Steeman had all the action for you on uh, Thursday night. And Greg, uh, you know, offensively, it was a challenge, frankly, for both teams all night long. Got a little bit better in the second half, uh, but USD kind of willed themselves to victory down the stretch. Yeah, they did, and, and it, w it was a struggle offensively. And credit in in great deal to both teams' effort on the defensive end, but it was it was a struggle. And, and, and when you struggle like that, everything becomes a little bit tougher, and some of your easier shots just don't go, and, and you're, you're, you're wishing them in instead of just shooting yeah. them. And then that, that really, I think, was reflected in, in the final stats this evening. Yeah, I think you could really see the frustration starting to show on both yeah. coaches, on all the players, because yep. uh, they know they could shoot better than that, and it just wasn't happening. It was one of those games uh, where it was just filled with frustration. Let's take a look at the first half highlights where uh, offensively, in particular, in this opening 20 minutes, teams were struggling to get the lid off. Montana State started quick with Marcus Colbert. Seven straight points, got the Bobcats out in front. The Coyotes countered with seven straight of their own before going into another low. And then DJ Davis would come back eventually and hit a three from the corner to kind of get him started a little bit there. But both teams really just, as we said, frustrated. Yeah, it, it was like a 40-minute dental appointment for both teams. It, nothing, <laughs> nothing came easy. But at the same time, I, I think teams, the, both teams responded, took advantage of opportunities when they got easy scoring opportunities. We saw Tyler Larson in transition. We saw Hunter with the with the putback, and you know when the opportunities came, they hit some much needed buckets. Both teams did just to keep themselves in the game. Yeah, 27-26 USD at the half. Really, the only reason the Coyotes were in front at the break was because they hit three of six from beyond the arc. If that's not a little irony from his. As uh, bad as they struggled from the floor, I think there were 7 to 25 in that opening half, but three of those buckets came from the perimeter, and they went in with a one-point lead. Second half started. Brandon Boss, for one, came out, started to heat up a little bit. Yeah, he did. You know, at a key stretch early in the second half, he went on his personal 9-0 run, credit his teammates for finding him with the extra pass, and he was able to create some separation. And you thought, well, maybe USD is going to go away here and kind of run away and hide. But no, Montana State had an answer at every turn, hit some tough shots down the stretch. Trey Norris hits a tough pull up in the lane, but Colbert for Montana State yeah. had some answers of his own. Yeah, he was big uh, all night long. Every time they really needed a shot to get into the game or maybe even take the lead, Colbert had it. Um, Boss continued to just kind of try and will the Coyotes to this win. He did. Uh, his fair share, certainly offensively in that second half, ended up with 17 points. That was a big one for Norris, who ended up with 10. Gave the Coyotes a two-possession lead, but Colbert came back, tied the game at 53 apiece with that bucket. Coyotes got the last shot, though, and Brandon Boss got the opportunity, and he made the most of it. Yeah, made it count. Hit a huge step back with two seconds to go, and at the very end, Colbert missed a long three. USD, you don't get credit for style points. They walk <laughs> out of here with a W. They get the they get the W and they clean things up in the second half. It was the second straight game where they turned it over way too much in the opening half. Clean that up in the second 20 minutes, and it's one of the reasons they were able to escape with this win tonight. Yep, that's exactly what they needed to do. They were able to get shots, even though even though they didn't make them. You still gain confidence, and they didn't they they would you know weren't struggling because of you know extra turnovers. And that's what gave them a chance down the stretch. 55-53, the final. The win snaps a three-game losing streak for South Dakota. Coyotes back in action on Sunday at Montana. For Greg Steven and our Midco SN crew, I'm Jay Elson. Thanks for watching.